Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Bud, and this is Photo Yellow Digital. So what's on the agenda for today? Well, today I'm going to be teaching you guys low-light photography. Because as most of you have probably experienced if you are watching this video, uh, it's kind of difficult to take pictures indoors with just normal lighting, without any lighting kits or flashes or anything because in the last video you know some people don't even have pop-up flashes on their cameras so today I'm gonna to be teaching you a way that you can do uh, low-light photography with you know next to no professional equipment just very very basic stuff so what are you gonna need for this to work well here's what I would recommend a light it's pretty much it um, and just even like a, I don't know, some sort of light. Like I have just a desk light, desk lamp. If you're doing small subjects or if you're doing larger subjects, maybe a bigger lamp that you can move around. Or as I'm going to be using, uh, the small light that came with the lighting kit. Now you guys are probably like, oh, lighting kit doesn't work. Well actually, just buy a powerful bulb. You can buy them for like 10 bucks. Just get a 45 watt bulb, bang, you're set. So since I don't actually have a live subject to test this on as my brother is busy upstairs doing something, I'm going to be testing this out on my good buddy, the clone trooper, who I call Ted, because I just came up with that name on the spot right now. But I'm going to call him Ted from now on, alright? So he's going to be our little helper and he's going to help us uh, take pictures in low light. So let's go to my basement. Uh, in the bar area where there's the least amount of light. So this is the low light area of my house. I'll just give you a quick pan. This is like the bar in our basement. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty low light. So uh, yeah, this is the light I'm going to be using. This is just the small one from the lighting kit. But you guys can use just a regular desk lamp as well to light the subject. Um, as you can see, I have a 45 watt bulb here, and if I turn that on, that is pretty bright. And compared to what it was before, that lights the subject pretty well already. Um, but we're going to take a look at the images and uh, just kind of how to get them to look the best. Alright, so this is the image without any, you know, light or anything, and it looks really grainy, really dark, it's just disgusting. But once you add the light, um, it does enough, uh, it does really well. Now the settings that I have is my aperture you want to set to the lowest so it's the brightest. I have my ISO at 800 so it's not too grainy, and my shutter speed at around uh, one fifth of a second. So yeah. Alright, so one thing I like to do uh, to this image is add a, a filter to it, um, and also crop it. So just crop it so the main subjects in uh, proportion in the middle of the screen unless you're trying to go for an artistic look but I really like to add black and white filters to dark images because it brings up the contrast and really shows you where the light is so people look for the light and I added a glow effect as well so it kinda glows the light and it looks really nice so I think this turned out pretty well Alright, so the scenario I've set up for you guys is kind of unrealistic because what place that holds a public event would um, have, you know, really dark lighting like this? Um, and most times you guys will have your lights on, as you can see in the background, I even have the lights. So um, you can use this kind of general idea of just using a wide aperture, low ISO, and low shutter speed, and probably a tripod to do that. Um, and you can just shoot under lights like this, like just lights in your house. And the results will turn out probably even brighter and a little better quality and less noisy and they'll turn out really well. So, yeah. Alright, so I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. I hope you have learned how to take images in low light and uh, kind of the results you get. Um, again, this is with a DSLR. Some uh, just regular cameras or even camcorders have these capabilities of like white balance ISO most do um, and also even exposure compensation if you um, kind of mess around with the exposure it will help the image as well but uh, I hope you guys have learned a lot from this video and I hope you found what you were looking for so 
I'll see you guys in the next video that I'll be posting probably next week. And I actually have a quick announcement I want to make before the video ends. This whole week, I'm going to be shooting a short film for my channel. I'll be uploading a trailer, um, I don't know when, sometime this week. And it's going to be awesome. So this is my first bigger production that I'm going to be shooting. Uh, it's going to be around, hopefully, around 10 minutes. I have half the script written already. Um, it's about a uh, 20 to 30 page script. So it's pretty good. So yeah, thank you all for watching. My name is Bud, and this is 40 Yellow Digital. See all of you guys. Low light. This is the lighting without the lights. Pretty bad. So, hope you guys all appreciate what I'm doing for you. See ya.